Hey there guys, how are you doing today? My name is Kenny Stoll. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I have a lot I want to talk to you about right now. And it's kind of some real talk, so hopefully you can stick around and listen to me. It's going to be hard for me to explain this, um, but maybe not. So, for the past five days or so, um, I, it's been kind of rough for me. Um, due to some uh, life circumstances that are going on, um, I kind of found myself getting depressed again. And for like maybe a day or two, I was really depressed. I was laying on the couch. I lost hope. I had no motivation to get up. I wasn't eating. Um, I was... I had like a moment in time where I got to be so emotional that I was crying for about an hour straight and um, I felt like I had nobody to talk to. Um, it was like the most uh, out of control moment for me emotionally and um, it was really hard um, and it's at those points which I know that I have a problem and um, I don't know how to explain it but uh, things were not going well for me and um, whenever I have something go on where I realize that I have a problem in my life and I need help and um, things aren't going well. I ask myself, is this something that I want to share with other people, you know, meaning you? Do I want to upload a video with me being like this in, in terms of like crying? And um, so I don't know because like <laughs> on the one hand I want to be a positive guy, I want to be um, kind of a positive influence if I can show you guys what I'm doing in my life to improve myself to make myself better I want to do that that's the purpose that's the overall thing that I want to do here but at the same time should I avoid showing you the real moments which are the worst uh, I don't know and um, so what I did was when I was crying like my eyes were like red and they were like <laughs> I looked like I was probably on drugs or like I was drunk but I, you could tell I was just crying out of my mind. And um, I lost control. I was really fucked up. I looked fucked up. In, uh, and um, I recorded a video for you guys, a message. And <laughs> it's been like a few days since I, that happened. And I don't know if I've watched it since then. But I decided that I did want to upload it to, to YouTube. I did want to share it with you. And it's going to be titled something like uh, uh, the most fucked up I've ever been or the most whatever um, probably and um, I just want to warn you guys because <laughs> the way that I am the quality of my videos the type of the videos I have are usually negative there's been a lot of videos of me crying of me being emotional of me being depressed me talking about how much I hate my life and myself and when I think about it, I realize that that's kind of me. I'm a downer, right? I'm not the positive thinking guy. Um, I believe in being positive, and I want all of everything that's going on, all of my suffering in my life, to turn out to have a positive message or a positive spin on it. But the way that I get there, the way that I find out how I really want to be, it requires me to go through a bad time, to mess up to fail, to suffer, to be depressed. I mean, really, like, what we're talking about is suffering. People don't want to experience suffering. People don't want to experience the downs, the the negatives. And I get it. I get it. But um, I feel like we can't avoid the negatives. We can't just pretend like the suffering, the struggle is not real. And I think this is what people do too much today. With social media being dominant in our society, um, everybody's posting um, statuses and, and pictures and videos up on social media sites. And it's all like, hey guys, I'm doing good. Here's a picture of me at the beach. Here's a picture of me getting married. Here's a picture of me um, buying my new car. Here's a picture of me with my, you know, whoever, my friends. And then when you're somebody who doesn't have all that stuff, you look at it and you just, you, you take all the things that you're looking at of other people and you're putting them putting that idea onto yourself, saying, wow, I don't have any of that stuff. I must be a loser. And then you start getting depressed because your life isn't like anybody else's. And um, so I think that's why today we have so many people who are depressed and who struggle with their self-esteem. Um, because, you know, like women, look at magazines and all the women are photoshopped and they have these beach bodies. And guys, you look at magazines and all the guys are like ripped and they got like like all the best stuff that you want to have. Um, and um, it's hard to just point out the fact like, hey, I'm not doing good. 
I'm struggling, I don't like myself, and people don't want to admit it, and people always have to be fake, and I don't like that fakeness. Um, I think that there's a real value in being positive, um, of course, but I also think that being negative is something that you can't avoid. Not, like, there's a, there's a line, right? Like, not too negative. Like, I think that the truth, reality, what's necessary to understand, isn't actually positive or negative. Um, but, you know, like, if I, were to sh if I was to show you a video of me crying, of me being really fucked up, there's nothing good or bad about that. It just is what reality was like for me. But, but my state was that I was out of control. I was negative. I was thinking badly about myself. I hated me. And then you, watching it, could potentially be interpreting that that video of myself being negative as this guy should not be negative and then you are saying because you put the meaning onto what that means right you put the meaning onto that thing and you're saying that um that me being negative is a bad thing that me crying is a bad thing that me showing my emotions is bad and there's truth in the idea that it's not idealistic it's not what you want but there's just something about, hey, what you want to be is this person full of love and joy and happiness and respect and and you're good at everything that you are in your life. There's something about wanting to be that way where you're perfect. But there's another thing to say like, hey, to get there, it's not just how things are naturally. Naturally, things are not always the best. Things are not always good. Not everything is great. And... I guess what I'm kind of talking about is the fact that, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like what I want to do is I want to show the struggles that I have. I want to show the suffering that I experience. And it, it, it can be harsh to watch it sometimes because you don't want to see it because you don't want it to influence you in your life. And I can't argue against that. If you don't want to watch somebody suffering, then don't. But I feel like, to not share my story, my reality, is kind of doing people who actually have worse problems and people who actually have the same problems. I feel like I'm not doing them any good by not sharing that. So for those of you on this channel who are all about positive thinking and being super happy in your life and you've made it there, good for you. Um, I'm going to continue to try to make everything in my videos a positive thing even when I'm doing awful, but I'm, I have to. I have to be real. I have to share the truth. I have to be me. And um, sometimes that's going to be very, very bad to watch. And um, admittedly, it's going to seem like I need a lot of help in my life, which I probably do. Um, so, uh, yeah. I don't really know how to uh, end the video. I don't know what else I want to say about this. But, um, you know, it's not always the right thing to, it's not always the right thing to um, pretend like everything's good when it's not. And I think it's just finding the truth beneath all the interpretations of it, all the meanings that you assume are the truth, then you can get to the bottom of what, what is really real. And, um, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm kind of sick right now, guys, if you couldn't tell. I made it through the whole video without coughing. Um, I had a cough drop in my mouth for the beginning of the video, I think. But um, it, like, disappeared by the time the video was over. Um, so I am going to upload that video sometime soon of me really being kind of fucked up. But um, in the meantime... I gotta think about where I want my channel to go, what kind of stuff I want to put out online, um, and who I want to be online. And um, it's a it's a journey, you know. And I'm just documenting my reality, and that's it. So, thank you guys for. <coughs> Dang it! I didn't make it through the whole video without coughing. I'm not gonna cut that out because it's the truth. Coughing. Hold on. Watch this. <coughs> it's coughing. That is real. That's suffering. You can't hide the fact that that's the truth. Like, that's what I experience. 
now I have a cough right now, I'm kind of sick, but the truth is that you can't just pretend like you never fucking cough in your life. <laughs> you can't pretend like you never cough, guys. It happens. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. It's something to work through. And that's the attitude you gotta have. With all the negative stuff, you can't look at it as being something you should be ashamed of, something that you should tell people that they can't feel bad when it's just something to improve. It's just something to overcome. It's just something to work on. Um, perfection is never the goal. It's not, it's, it can never be achieved. But um, just working in the right direction is all that you can do. And sometimes suffering is just a part of that. It's a part of life. And it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay to be depressed. It's okay to hate yourself. It's okay as long as it doesn't continue for the, your entire life. But um, even then, sometimes it's just like, what can you do? All right. I don't know if I said everything I wanted to say, but I guess I'm just going to have to leave the video at that. And um, if you watched all the way, hey, <laughs> thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments. So uh, let me know what you think about this. I know you guys have your opinions. Uh, I'm sorry I'm not the most positive guy, but I guess that's it. So thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you in my next one. My name is Kenneth Stahl. Thank you for subscribing and uh, sharing the video. I'll see you later.